Odessa feels a bit like home. The Atlantic reminds Olga Strelnik of her home region along the Black Sea. She and her family and about a hundred others fled here to northern Spain to escape the war in Ukraine. It's my family, so for me it's more easy because it's a beautiful place and beautiful people and very kind people in Carinha. The town is called Carinho, which means love or affection in Spanish. And that's just what Olga and her fellow refugees experience here. At the traditional sardine festival, they're already part of the community after just a few months. It's not a huge place, but uh, it's a chance to see everybody, to say hello and ask, how are you? The people of Carino and Galicia made it easy for them to settle down and start new lives. We accept everyone here. Carino is a welcoming town and, of course, the Ukrainians are welcome and respected here. Javier Colorado Mantega from Caritas has been helping however he can for months and he knows all the newcomers. We could get to know each other a bit better if they spoke our language better. But that's just a question of time. And the kids are great. They really absorb everything and learn the language super fast. Carino has less than 4,000 residents. Many of them are elderly, and the town's population had been shrinking. The young people arriving are a rejuvenation for us. We are getting more people of working age, and that rejuvenates the town. Olga Strelnik and her colleagues feel they have a bright professional future here. In Ukraine, they worked for a platform selling spare car parts. They were in Carino on business when the war broke out. They wanted to expand their operations to Spain. In Galicia, there are a lot of advantages because there are people very kind to other people who would like to start business here. So it's uh, it's not the Spain, it's like Madrid and other cit and other huge cities. We can just came for I don't know one year and uh, take money from the market and go away. We would like to build very huge business here. Today, they're visiting their new office spaces for the first time. It's a welcome distraction from the war back at home and their fear for their loved ones. Their Ukrainian colleague Magdalena Spak can relate. She's been living in Carino for many years, and she's put dozens of people in touch with locals. There's a big difference between refugees and migrants. Migrants leave their country because they want to. They want to. They plan things and decide where to live. Refugees don't have that luxury. They just head off without anything. Olga Strelnik returned to Ukraine after the war broke out. She had to fetch her children, 16-year-old Gorde and 9-year-old Agata, at the border to Romania to bring them to safety. It was very bad feelings because I have seen a lot of people in the line, but I'm so afraid for my children. Her ex-husband stayed behind, and her mother is still in Odessa too. They talk to each other several times a day. You can explain how you feel now, and nobody will say, okay, I'm normal. You can explain that I'm sad, I'm miss, I'm uh, feeling not good, or I'm now, it's, it's, I'm glad that I'm new, uh, to see new people and something like this. So all, most things now is mo not formal, because you understand that it's, this day can be the last. After escaping the war, the newcomers want to get back to work. Their digital business is helping create jobs in the Spanish town. Plus, the cafe they fixed up has now become a meeting point for young and old.
uh, I think we, we have no chance to survive without this help because we just come with, I don't know, one luggage and, and that's all. We need young people who want to kickstart the local economy and fill up the schools. Everyone has given it their best and that honors the name of our town. Some young Ukrainians want to remain in Carino after the war. Others would like to return home at some point. Even so, Spain's little Odessa will have a place in their hearts.